Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 5 Lesson 3, The Maya, King Pakal's Tomb. Our purpose for listening today is we want to be able to explain the importance of religion in ancient Maya. We also want to be able to identify and explain important aspects of cities and leaders of the ancient Maya. Listen carefully to understand the word constructing. Can you say constructing? We are on the continent of North America. This is the continent we live on. We've been studying about an area in Central America called Mexico. This area is in and around the Yucatan Peninsula. Canal and his family have started to take a trip and we are going to continue to hear about this fascinating trip today. So far we've learned that corn or maize is a very important crop to the Maya people. Canal and his family have just left their home to go to the city of Bacal. The city of Bacal is a very special place. It is a big city and the children have never seen it before. They're going to honor and thank the God of maize for the plentiful maize crop they just harvested. They're also going to attend the festival of the first star. Listen carefully today to find out more about this big city of Bacal. Bolon, that is the Mayan word for the number nine. I'm going to count in a different language. Listen carefully. Hun, Ka, Osh, Khan, Ho, Wok, Wuk, Walshok, Bolon, and Lahun. Lahun is 10. That number's not on our chart right now. These are the Mayan numbers. Tun, his wife Shanil, his brother Zook, and the three children, Kanal, his sister Ikal, and his cousin Pick, stood looking up at the most amazing building any of them had ever seen. It was nine stories high, each story smaller than the one below it. Wide stone steps ran up two of the four sides, reaching to the top level on which there stood a small building. It was made of stone, like the nine-stepped pyramid on which it stood. Nine stories high, plus the temple on top, Toon said. This is the tomb of the great King Pakal. A tomb is a place where someone, usually someone important, is buried. King Pakal lies buried in a great stone case at the very bottom of a hole that runs straight down the center of the temple. There is a staircase in the temple at the top of the pyramid that leads down into the tomb. Can we see it ourselves, Father? Ecol asked. No, it is a special place. Only King Pakal's son, our great king, Khan Bolom, is allowed inside the temple. The children looked up with even greater interest, knowing that this was a place so special that only a king might enter it. Toon glanced around to see that no one else was listening, then added in a mysterious tone, they say there is treasure buried with King Pakal. The three children turned to look at him with wide eyes, unsure if he was teasing or serious. He went on. Some say there is green jade carved to make all sorts of fabulous jewelry, bowls, tools, perhaps even furniture. No one knows exactly, Shanil added, except for our king, Khan Balom. It was he who put it there. That is, if the tale is true. Hick looked at his father, Zook. Do you think it's true, father? 
Is there really treasure? Zook was still staring up at the temple. He answered thoughtfully. I saw King Pakal once long ago. He was dressed in robes, woven of the finest cotton in many colors, and he wore a headdress of magnificent feathers from the rarest birds. He wore magnificent jade necklaces and carried a scepter carved into wonderful shapes. He did not walk on the earth as we do, but was carried through the streets on a great chair that sat atop two long poles laid flat. Important noblemen for whom carrying the king through the streets was a great honor carried the king anywhere he wanted to go. I think that if King Pakal wanted to be buried with a treasure of jade, then yes, there must be jade. The children looked at one another in wonder, then back at the pyramid. But Toon and Shanil looked at one another, silently sharing a different thought. They were both thinking, I have not heard Zook speak so many words at once in many years. Finally, Toon said to the others, let us go see what is on the other side of King Pakal's pyramid. I heard from a man in the market this morning that King Kanbalom is constructing more great buildings over there. Constructing means building. So they hurried off to see what other sites there might be. Sure enough, Pakal's son, King Kanbalom, had ordered a whole series of buildings to be built. These new buildings were wonderful in their own way, for the roof lines of the temples on top were carved in wonderful designs. When they tired from walking around, they all went to sit in the shade of some wide spreading trees. After a while, Kanal asked, Father, why did King Pakal make such a wonderful place to be buried in? It is much greater than the places you showed us this morning where the other kings and queens are buried. Toon answered quietly, I will tell you, but you must not repeat it. The three children grew quiet, sensing that he was about to trust them with some special grown-up sort of secret. Then Toon began to tell them about King Papal. Hmm, boys and girls, we're going to continue this story next time. Can you describe how King Pakal was dressed? Think about it. How was King Pakal dressed? Use your best describing words. I'll see you back here next time as we finish the story.